you not believe what I've just seen? I've seen somebody shapeshift into reptilian form. Excuse me, where are you going? Citizens Police Watch Team. Tread looks all right, so I think we'll... Uh, as you were. My last video got censored. Struck off, spat on. You can't have that on, on our site, Daniel. Fair dues. It's fine, you can have that one. But I'm just uploading it to BitChute right now. I'll put a link in the description. It's a video I made ages ago. That's it had it had hundreds of thousands of views on Facebook before Facebook took it down. Do you do baby's first cigarettes? Don't you sell them here, baby's first cigarettes. Oh we've got some crisps here. <laughs> baby's first cigar. I'll just probably get him a small part of Amberleaf then. I've got about three or four songs written. And uh, I'd, I'm not, they're not very funny. They're not very good. They're good because they sound like the original songs. But they, they're not very funny. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to find that golden song. I think Daniel's all right and I like him. I said, but I reckon he's a mason. And I want to thank all my Patreons. I've got about 30 odd. It goes up and down. Uh, pledges go up and down. Um, but I'm getting about £200 a month. Unbelievable. Yo. That's wicked. And um, I read all the comments. All the comments get read. The good, the bad, the ugly. I don't reply to everyone. I am not... Having this. Right. Got my model here. This is Louis. Second name Suarez, you might know him, he plays for Barcelona, isn't that right, Louis? Yeah. Sorry? Yeah. I do. Friday and Saturday, they're the busiest days, you know? Mm. What are we doing with your eyebrow? Yo. We're off to Birmingham. To the International Convention Centre. Where the UKIP party conference is being held. I've been personally invited by Gerard Batten. He rung me, he's rung me a few times over the last couple of weeks. I had a right good chat the other night. So at 10 a.m., they're playing uh, my Jake Bug parody song. I don't really like that. It's embarrassing. Zoomed in a bit too, for, too close on that. Damn. It's not got my bloody face on there. I've got my brain force from Infowars.com. Now some people say that I have saved the party. In all due modesty, that's true. But <laughs> I could not have done it without you. So my mate noob has just been to the toilet. Left a pubic hair. Newbie, what's this? What? It's not mine. It's a pubic hair, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you, you've just been out of poo. Yeah, dude, that was that was already there. That, yeah, like you wanted to lose it. it. <laughs> Come on. You'd have moved What are you doing that? filming a fucking pubic hair, you dated? But Gerard wanted me to perform at this conference. I said, I don't, I don't want to. I'm not ready. I'm not. I'm ever so shy, you know. 
but I've bought a few words in case they bloody force me up onto the stage and ask me to speak. I've got a little poem to read by Rudyard Kipling and just in case there's a bit of a backup. Maybe a bit of a job out here, even there. Mm. Sorting allotments out and that. No spot. No different ones. Eh? Scrap. So you have to excuse me, my Spanish is not good. Not had it cut in a while. Mm. It's gone all dry, hasn't it? It's not dry, actually. It's like sticky. No, it's alright. Mm. I think that's just grease. Get wrong with a bit of grease. Grease lightning. Go oh, grease lightning. Grease lightning. Oh, grease lightning. But yeah, yeah, I think U UKIP is the only political party right now. It's the only one that's the opposition that's standing up for Britain, the working class, liberty, freedom. There's a few things they do I don't agree with. I don't agree with Burke about I don't. People should be able to wear what the hell they like in a free country. But, don't tell me. I can't criticise it, mock at it, laugh, laugh at it. Don't tell me I can't do that. Then it's hate speech. Boris Johnson says they look like letterboxers, and he's right. You know, when, when Scottish wear a kilt, they look like my bloody grandma. Load of my grandma's walking about. That's not hate speech. Nuns look like penguins bottling about. I am a nun. That's not hate speech. Right, if you could get off that bucket that you sat on. <laughs> You've got to skin tag or something there that I've just prized up with me. I might then feel it. It might be a bit of scurvy. <laughs> Gonna have to put some clay on it. Clay? Are you back at college then, Suarez? Tomorrow. Suarez, back at college. Tomorrow's, look at arses. Curly beard. Is, is your dad black? He's white. Oh, is he? Who's got curly beards then? Me. Has your dad got a curly beard? No. What about your mum? No. You know what they say about big arms, don't you? No. Big t shirts. Before we start, I'd just like to say thank you for everyone who's just welcomed us into the party with open arms. It's been really, really nice and it's been really eye-opening because obviously, like everyone else, we've seen all the media scaremongering about UKIP being an evil far-right party. And it turns out none of that's true. It turns out that UKIP is just the party of regular people and is staffed and filled and supported by regular people. And the YouTubers we're just guys who started YouTube channels because we were concerned about the state of the world. We're regular people too. So I feel like I'm in exactly the right place, and exactly the right party, and to do exactly the right kind of work. Because I think everyone understands that right now, British liberty is under threat from many different sources. Whether it's communists in our universities, Islamists in our northern towns, or censorious MPs in our own parliament, the people who want to change our way of life forever and prevent us from speaking our mind about the terrible things that happen in our country 
are active and have the power to actually make these changes. And so personally, I'd like to see UKIP expand its remit from being the only party for Brexit to being the party, broadly speaking, for British values. Now I'm telling people that I've, I've figured out that you're very stupid. No, not that I'm very stupid, that it doesn't matter what I read to him at night time. It doesn't matter. I could be reading anything. I could be reading Spanish. It, it don't care as long as I'm stood there reading. I figured that out a while back. So I've been reading stuff about medieval lives and Rome and capitalism and freedom and liberty and all this. Just, just my books. Today I'm going to be reading the UKIP Manifesto. <laughs> for his bedtime story. Right, I'm going to end this just to save a bit of battery power. Keep it real. Watch out for the zookeeper. Peace, love and Gandhi. We'll catch you in a bit.